Hey, Reverend Colonel here, and today we are talking about cradles. Yeah, um, and not about rocking in a cradle or being in a cradle, but building a cradle. So we're going to take a look at this project I've got. All right, so what I've got here is I've got this old cradle that a client has gotten me to pick up and what we're going to do is we're going to finish this thing up. It was her grandfather, I believe, and they're getting it ready. Uh, he wanted to get it ready and he couldn't get it before uh, he passed. But uh, anyway, this cradle is supposed to go to the great grandchild that's going to be born in January. And uh, so you can see he did a really uh, neat joints here. He went for dovetail, and but this thing has been sitting, and some of the dovetails have, you know, there's a lot of cracks. He tried to do some patching, you can see in here, but, uh, you know, there's a lot more to be done. Uh, there's some dings in it, like right there, over or back on this side. You can see where some nails got into it and some other dings. And I've started patching some of this other down here and trying to get all these joints looking good. There's still some more sanding that needs to be done to make this edge look better here. And then you've got a few of these down at the bottom that were really loose. And so what I did with those and what I'm doing with them is getting some wood glue in there. And then after you get the wood glue up in there real good, this one was completely loose, so I took it totally out. Um, after you do the wood glue, push it up there really tight and use some blue tape to hold it in place until it sets. And so you can see how rough some of these spots are that I'm gonna have to take care of. But then, after I get all this ship shape everywhere, we are going to build the part that helps, that makes it rock, the bottom of the stand. And we're going to do that with a couple of ends, and we're going to bend some uh, wood, some plywood, so that way we can make the bottom work rock a little more evenly and as well also make it stronger and we'll talk more about the rocking part after i get a little more of this done all right so i have filled and sanded all these dovetail joints and a bunch of other spots we had some cracking in a couple spots and we took care of all that Everything is looking really good. Pretty much ready for paint on that. So we got the rockers. And so what I did is I made me a template out of paper. Okay. And I figured out what my arch was going to be. And I'm cutting it out of a piece of, uh, of a 12 inch wide poplar. Um, should be good and strong look good and so you take your template and draw all around it and you'll come up with your pattern on here and now it's time to take the jigsaw to it and cut this thing out do some sanding and attach it all right so after you got them both cut out what i did is i stack them both here together put them against a straight edge so that they're even and then I take a belt sander first to get the rough edges off and to get both of these even so they will rock evenly and I'll take my little mouse sander with a little finer grit and smooth it up a little bit but this way even after the plywood is on there and everything that you'll see in a bit everything will be smooth because they are going to be identical. All right, so we got both the rockers done. And what I did is I took another piece of this poplar and I cut it just a little bit bigger. So I get a lot of surface on there and I glued and nailed this right here together. 
and then glued and nailed it into the cradle that thing is not going to come apart ever so um so there you go the next thing i have to do is i got to cut my plywood to shape and curve the plywood over there and then we're ready to start painting so oh and i was going to put this piece of poplar on here for the edge so anyway here we go okay so i'm getting ready to paint you see i got all this on here got us a nice little arch with that plywood and to give it extra support because I didn't want it to give here in the center I added a dowel going across so the round part is up touching it nailed it on both ends and then pin nailed it all the way across just for extra security and uh, so that'll keep it from bowing there in the middle when a little bit of weight's on it. So that way we don't end up with a flat spot when we're rocking. There's nothing worse than a flat spot when you're rocking. So anyway, this is actually a shaker style um, cradle given by... The way those curves are there, the high end on the one side, the lower end on the other, the dovetail joints, and in the style of the rocker, um, makes this a shaker style. And uh, it's a lot of, a lot of uh, famous cradles in history, and uh, this is one of them. And of course, I think of the the basket Moses was put in for. Uh, safety so he wouldn't be killed by the king and uh or the pharaoh rather and uh then of course getting close to christmas here probably one of the most famous cradles we think of the one that jesus laid in in the manger all right so here we go we've got it all painted we've got the rocker you can watch as it rocks. Rocks perfectly. Look at that. Beautiful. Get the plywood in there. Got our dowel down the center there to give reinforcement. And the inside of the bed where the baby will sleep. So, this is a shaker style cradle. I wonder, you know, Jesus' dad was a carpenter. Joseph, I wonder if he built a cradle and took it along with him while they were traveling because he knew he knew they were going to need something. So, I wonder if it was a little like this. Probably not, but, you know, just wondering. But there you go. All done. So, I'm really super psyched about getting this cradle delivered to my customer. And I know they're going to be really happy. I've sent them pictures and... They're just waiting for this. Uh, it's going to be a gift for her daughter, for their baby. And uh, so it's uh, something that's going to be really special for them. And uh, so I've just been thinking about this while I've been working on this and everything. And just what is a cradle? Okay, well, a cradle can be something like this right here, you know. Or there's also a cradle that holds a ship in place when it's being worked on. There's also phone cradles for putting our phone in. Um, but cradle in definition means to hold gently and protectively. And I thought about that and I'm like, you know, that's how God is. That's how God is with his children. He tells us that we're supposed to come to him as children. 
just like a child, you're supposed to come to Jesus, you know, and to trust him and to put your faith in him and to believe that he is going to cradle you in his arms. And he will. He has promised us that he'll do that. If you read his word, you will see that time and time again where God and Jesus have said that they will cradle us in his arms in more and in, in, in so many words or less. You'll see that definition in there. And so just remember that when you're thinking about it. Um, and if you don't know him and, uh, you know, you're out in this big, bad, tough world that we live in with all the stuff that's going on and everything. And you don't know which way to turn, and what direction and what to believe and where to go. And being cradled, being held protectively and gently. That just sounds appealing to me. I don't know. How's it sound to you? So anyway, I just wanted to leave you with that thought. Allow God to cradle you in his arms. And uh, I think that uh, I think you'll be, be very happy and content if you do that. So anyway, done with this cradle project. Um, just, uh, you know, keep your boots dirty and your souls clean. This is the way. Reverend Colonel, signing out.